Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Marina. I'm gonna bring y'all along with me on a day in the life again. We're going to tackle up some projects on the island. I did the end caps of the island, but I'm going to do the inside of the island. Um, but I've also got to do dinner because it's like five o'clock. We're starting this really, really late today. I'm getting naked. Shane's changing clothes right beside me. <laughs> Never gonna dance again. These guilty feet have got no rhythm. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not naked yet, by the way. Just in case you guys thought it was getting a little weird. <laughs> so one of you guys requested that I show you guys how to do the pizza dunker recipe. So I'm gonna do that real quick. And then I've got major cleaning to do. Does sound like like a 90s thing? What? Like you see on TV, like you're watch, sitting there watching Cartoon Network and then all of a sudden, Introducing pizza dunkers! Whoa! <laughs> Bad CG. Yeah, and yeah, you have like a kid like maybe like bungee jumping with a piece of pizza and it gets <laughs> down far enough where it dips in the sauce and then he bounces back up. And then of course you always have to have the mmm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna show you guys that real quick. And then I got major clean to do. Kinda gotta get my kitchen together so I can comfortably work in it because it's a mess. I have a crock pot that hasn't been cleaned out in a couple of weeks. Ooh. First, as always in this house, we gotta clean before we can cook. <laughs> I don't know where she came from Kind of turned me upside down I just don't know what to do I want to spend the night at hers And bring her one of my t-shirts So it smells like her perfume Now I really get what the love songs are talking about And I just want to tell her how I feel Scream it out loud have you ever been in love? Have you ever lost your head? Have you felt like you were out of breath when you saw her in that dress? When your heart is beating fast and you're sweating and you can't stop looking at her smile, then you've been in love. That's how you know you've been in love. There's something about the way she laughs. And the way she always dances When she thinks nobody sees And when she's gonna miss her soul I tell her, baby, please don't go I think you should stay with me And I, I really get what the love songs are talking about Oh, and I just wanna tell her how I feel Scream it out loud Have you ever been in love? Have you ever lost your head? Have you felt like you were out of breath when you saw her in that dress? When your heart is beating fast and you're sweating and you can't stop looking at her smile, then you've been in love. That's how you know you've been in love. Okay, so I'm using these Wewalka, Wewalka pizza doughs, and I got two of them for a family of six. You probably, you, if you have a smaller family, you would only need one. I got two. So you can do this in numerous kinds of ways. I just chose to do it this way because I, I didn't really feel like doing croissants wait i had to be really in the mood for like the crescent the pillsbury crescent rolls or something like that so you can use those in this you can use pizza dough you can use biscuit dough you can use whatever kind that you want i just used this pizza dough and i think this is fancy pizza dough it was substituted i got the great value but they substituted it with that so i just put sauce in there i put cheese in there put pepperoni in there i folded over kind of like a calzone and then i just like mash it together with my fork um to kind of keep it from falling apart and then i just baked it on whatever the pizza dough said to bake it on Talked about everything that was on our mind. Talking to you gave me butterflies. Then you took my hand, said, Let's leave now. Don't wanna be shy.
I'm going to try to camouflage this with the brick. We shall see how well that goes. I want to hold you close, but you know my mind is torn now. I never thought it'd be like this. We're like a broken record, because we always mess it up, even though we so we never do that, so here we go. Like we I'm going to bring it around the edge right here too. I'll go more in depth here in a minute about how I measure it, but it's really super easy. I chose to go two and three quarters, almost three inch by seven inch bricks. Um, and then I just staggered them. You'll see, it's super easy. Best part about these is you don't have to make it perfect. Mine are crooked, mine are abstract, and it turned out super good in my opinion. So you don't have to stress about it being perfect or anything like that. That's gonna crap out of me. You and me both has to do keep my britches. So instead of measuring every single one up through here, I'm gonna go by eye. I'm just gonna, it's gonna look rustic. Oh, y'all are still there. Lacey just killed a copperhead. Uh, oh, no. Yeah, you definitely need someone to help. How good you doing, Mama? Because you're the best mama. Okay, not bad for not measuring. I went two and a half to three, between two and a half and three inches wide. And now I'm gonna do seven inches long. I am gonna measure that and then I'm gonna stagger them. Oh, first I need to get down here. Alright, now that I have all those lines done, before I go in staggering them, I'm going to answer some comments from today's video. Woo! If they, so if any of these comments have questions, I'm going to read a couple of them out loud and answer them on here. Love the brick, you should do it over your pantry area. I'm actually demoing my pantry area. <laughs> Not, not my spice rack, but, well, kind of, but I'll explain later. Um, but I'm demoing it and doing something totally different, and I'm excited about it. I got water on my phone. You see those black dots there? I got water on my phone, so I can't see to hit the send button, so it's tripping me out. Oh, Victoria Hogan, Hogan said, I don't know what I do without your videos. You're the funniest person I know. Thank you. I don't think I'm funny at all. <laughs> but thank you. Did I miss where you put the tape up? So I actually forgot to include because I had done the taping the day before. I had the footage, but I forgot to include it. So Mom of Two, which is one of my long time subscribers, I'm doing it now. <laughs> I looked over to see if y'all were still here. <laughs> so, a bunch of people are talking about how I didn't um, show me taping up the brick and doing that tutorial. Like I said, I had that footage, but it was from the day before. I totally forgot to add it in there, but it wasn't really that great anyway. So, y'all seen, there's really no rhyme to it. What you're supposed to do is, if you want bricks like the size of like, um, you know, Carrie's from her mobile home or Erica's that I talked about yesterday, 
seven by two and a half. I like the thicker one. So I'm going two and three quarters, almost three inches height wise and still seven inches long wise. And honestly, I didn't measure, I only measured two of these, right? So you just get creative with it. And the, be the best thing about rustic is, so the word rustic itself encourages imperfections. So I could probably totally fudge this up and it'd be fine because it's rustic. <laughs> It's really not hard. If I can do it, anybody can do it. And a lot of people are saying you don't give yourself enough credit. Always be humble and kind. But I might, I might, I add. It is pretty, it is pretty good. That side over there, I'm pretty proud of. Somebody said, I got scared that you didn't wait for it to dry. Sweet, tomorrow too. I really like how that turned out. Can't wait to see the rest. Hope the storms are not real bad. Be praying for y'all. Bless you and much love y'all. Thank you, Colette. I hope I said that right. All I ever watch anymore is you and it's all messy. Lacey! That's my girl. You ladies make me want to get up and actually do something. That's funny because half the time I don't want to get up and do nothing. <laughs> you never seem to ever sit down. I wish I had your energy. It's a blessing and a curse. Great video. Keep them coming. You should check out Carrie and Erica too. They're really good. If you like me and Lacey, you'll love them. They're kind of like us on Adderall though. Like they're calm. They're chill. Well, Carrie can sometimes be a little goofy. She's actually really goofy when you get to know her personally. She's a, she's a goofy person. <laughs> um, she's She's been like really showing her personality on her videos too. <laughs> Try blowing a fan on it to drive faster, Miss Impatient. I'm sorry, Suzanne, what am I supposed to do? I am too impatient. I've been answering comments for about 15 minutes and ain't even made a dent in them. I try to get back to as many as possible, but I have been noticing it's been really hard. I do read them all, but I don't know what, what would you guys rather me do. I don't heart the ones I read. I just read because I don't want it to look like I just hearted it and don't care what you have to say. But then again, when I don't heart it, it looks like I ignored it or didn't read it. I always read the comments. Trust you me, I'm always in my comments. So should I start hearting them? If I heart them though and don't say nothing back, will y'all get mad at me? I don't want y'all to get mad at me. When I get the notification, I stop whatever I'm doing and watch. Tiffany, you're the bomb. I'm waiting on Shane to get back. I'm going to start hitting this wide open whenever he gets back with my paper towels. Vanessa, come do an accent wall at my house then. Listen, you buy the plane ticket. My honey is in Canada right away. On the morrow, or as y'all say, tomorrow, or what do y'all say? To tomorrow. My camera battery died. You guys say sorry. That's what it is. Sorry. Sorry. Sorry I'll be late for dinner on my way. Why aren't you doing no more? I'm answering comments. I'm so... I was taking a break till you got here. No, break time is supposed to be when we watched Listen, Office. Listen, I'm answering all my... Oh, you want me... Well, I'm just going to mud it real quick. I'm not going to... I'm ashamed. It won't take me long. Yeah, it will. It won't take you like an hour. Well, you can go in the office on. I'll watch it with you. you I didn't sit mean you wanted to me. spend time with me. Yeah, yeah. Bring it in. That's why you're being sweet. You're on camera. <laughs> you going to sit down with me? Okay. No. Okay. Well, then we not watch it. No, you have to sit down so I can watch your reaction. Well, you can't sit down with me. You have to sit down so I can watch your reaction. You betrayed me. I ain't giving you your stuff. I got you. You got the cheap con. I ain't gonna give you your snack, I got you. What'd you get me a snack? You got me a snack? What'd you give me? You don't get it now. Only people who watch Office are gonna get it. I'm gonna watch it. I'm facing this way. You are the bomb. Oh, you are the bomb. Oh, Eight thirty. Let's go. We are who we are. Why don't I be me and you be you? We're spreading color around us. We're lighting up the sky. It's what we do. We shouldn't care about anyone or anything that brings us down. So come on now, let's be free.
as you can see here, some of these are super crooked. It doesn't matter if it's crooked or not. You can fix that whenever you go in with the paint. That's what I did. <laughs> Y'all, I just hit 13,000 best friends. Numbers mean jack to me, but y'all mean the world. <laughs> Can we make your doll say that when it comes out? What the frick? <laughs> <laughs> Numbers mean jack to me, but you mean the world. <laughs> they do mean the world to me. So I'm still doing my brick wall. But that song I showed on that last slide where I was thanking y'all for 13,000 best friends, like that's so true. Like And just in case you're seeing this video before you're seeing the one I did yesterday, which I encourage you to go back and watch that one, it's a little bit more in depth when it comes to the joint compound and the acrylic paint. I am going in with the killer, oh snap, Territorial Beige, that's what it was, by Apple Barrel. come back in the morning I'm gonna film it uh, take the paint off and then where I didn't paint the wall before I did the brick I'm gonna have to paint with white in between the grout the grout lines and whitewash the brick so I'm gonna show you guys that before I close out this video um, I'm gonna do that in the morning right now dookie wall good morning y'all so it's dry can't help but think I should have took the tape off last night. Um, cause it's gonna make a mess, but it's okay. We're over there, I'm feeling it tonight. Riding on the dizzying heights. So, I can't reach it on the inside right there. So I'm gonna have to get Shane to do on top of the cabinets. That you part. did real good. Thank you. I'm proud of that. So I, where I didn't paint, like prime the wall before I did this, I've gotta go in and paint the grout white and whitewash the bricks. Now I'm anxious to see how this is gonna turn out. I'm gonna kinda just be messy with it because you don't want it to look like square, rectangle, uniform. This is probably the part I'm mo I was most anxious about. 
of some bricks a little bit. I may be making a mistake, but I feel like kind of really like focus on areas of bricks on the outsides. Because when you do a German smear, smear, when you do a German smear, you're putting it on there and scraping it off, right? So you want some areas like this to look heavily, like, light, because when you scrape it off, all of it doesn't come off. There's some areas. It gives it dimension. You see how I'm going in and making it much darker in areas? Like, what, well, much lighter in areas with the white? It breaks up that uniform. It breaks that up real nice. All right, y'all, this is how it's coming along. Oh. Not gonna lie, it feels like a lot of work for just that. <laughs> but I'm slowly making my way around the kitchen. So I'm gonna close this out, edit this, get to schooling, and then when I'm done schooling, I'm gonna start another day in the life. We're gonna tackle some more of it for tomorrow's video. I love y'all. I hope you have a blessed morning, even not whatever it is, wherever you're at. Know that I love you, but Jesus loves you so much more. I'll see y'all tomorrow.